We are at the Copper Zone at the Nitnat property prospecting for Kermode resources. As you can see, we've had a grader come by and backfill where the actual ore body is, where the showing is. Even before this, it was difficult to uh, expose because every single month you'd come back and it would be filled in. But they've piled a bunch on top of here and now um, there's about three feet of overburden over top of the showing. So the showing is actually down at this ditch level. You can see the bedrock in there. And what you have is uh, sheared basalt and it hosts a 10 meter by 1.5 meter wide body which is in the side of the road right here and you have small veins up to 20 centimeters wide running through here in this general direction um, and that's what we're going to look at today is finding a good bedrock sample from there we know that this ore body is here but we're going to have to expose it at a later date um, doing it by hand is just a little too much work right now so let's see if we can pull a couple samples. So you can see here, loose material. And this stuff is gonna have a little bit of calcopyrite and pyrite in it. The massive sulfide body was mainly calcopyrite. You have minor pyrite. And uh, there's a lot of this loose material around. And as you can see over here, here's some of uh, the material you got Mostly pyrite in this piece and a uh, little calcopyrite. You can see there you have some uh, malachite staining on your post rock. Good indication there's something nearby here. Here's a nice little sample we broke off. A little bit of calcopyrite in there and pyrite. We have more loose samples in here where you can see malachite, pyrite, and calcopyrite in minor amounts. Another sample broken off here. A little bit more calcopyrite in this. So there's a little bit of a vein here leading away and we just pulled out a chunk of the bedrock and there's decent mineral on that. Also right here we had some malachite staining. As you can see some of these pieces are containing massive sulfides. Lots of malachite there. So we're going to get these uh, samples hammered open and cleaned up and we'll see uh, what we got. As you get a little farther away from the showing, some of the host rock looks like this. And you can see the nice amount of pyrite. There's a little bit of calcopyrite in here, but it's uh, really not going to amount to a whole lot grade-wise. So we're going to stick with a couple samples we took off the showings. We have a composite chip over a 10 meter span. So we got a whole bunch of chip samples taken every half meter and uh, you can see there's mineralization there's actually some quartz in this malachite your calcopyrite and minor amounts of pyrite and here's some more of those so I'd like to get a average grade of this stuff over about 10 meters. And then I have a select chip sample over a 30 centimeter area. And you can see the massive calcopyrite. It was a small little vein. And uh, we got a couple nice chunks out of there. As you can see, the massive calcopyrite. So we'll see what these uh, both say as. We're going to send both of these out 
and uh, essays will be pending. So that's the camp showing. Sample number one is ready to go, and that will be sent to a lab for analysis. Sample two is also ready to go, also going to be sent to the lab. The bulk of the mineralization is, is about this area here, and then along here, up to about this telephone pole, you can find disseminated mineral, disseminated iron pyrite and minor chalcopyrite, but it's nothing like where the ore body is over there. And uh, definitely be nice to expose that one day and um, kind of get all this overburden out.